business of uh, allowing parties to have a, a say or take an active interest in our local government. I think that the issue is that, except that we, we, we don't want to say what is the truth. Because if you go to the district assemblies, right now as we speak, if you go to any district assembly, if you ask of uh, an NDC caucus, you find an NDC caucus there. If you, want for, you, you ask for an MPP caucus, you will find an MPP caucus. So, and then another thing too is that this experiment at decentralization in Ghana has been on for well over 30 years. There were African countries who had come to Ghana to learn from our system. They had subsequently got back introduce their own brand of decentralization, and they have now even gone beyond us. So AC was talking about three of those uh, 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 places as examples. But if you look at the entire length and breadth of Africa, we have all these countries haven't fully decentralized and are electing their mayors. Wherever, even Gambia here, they are, they are electing their mayors. Nigeria, they do their elections about the same time. They elect the president, they elect, elect their mayors, and then legislators. So it's not something that is going to be new to us. We are rather uh, no, uh, uh, late in the day in pushing this agenda. So we want you to support us by getting involved in this business so that we can uh, sell the message to the Ghanaians for them to accept this message, for us to be able to get a resounding yes vote. A number of people have some concerns about minority interests. Our, our lady talked about women. The, the, the minister is better placed to answer these things. But there are other groups, like the chiefs. We had an, an engagement with the House of Chiefs. And they also talked about what role chiefs are going to be uh, made to play in this business. What we are aiming to achieve by these arrangements is that when we go through the referendum and we get a yes vote, and by that are able to uh, elect our mayors on a partisan basis, it will not be the end of the story. There will be subsequent amendments which we have to, to make in the general arrangements that we have to be able to take care of the, all those interests. For instance, the chiefs, what are we going to do to the chiefs? We will get back to that and deal with that issue. But for, for now, what we are saying is that let us fully democratize at that level and not go, go have a system where the president will still have the power to appoint MMDCs. We want the people to have the power. And because the district assemblies are the instruments to push or pursue the development agenda that we should be having in, in our country, they sh the people should have a say in determining who should be the leaders at that level. The minister was talking about the fact that MPs have a role to play in development. But by the arrangements that we have, it is the district assemblies that have the power and the resources to be able to push a development agenda. But they are appointed. And to that extent, there are some limitations as to what they are able to, uh, uh, to do. The people cannot exact accountability from our chief executives. So it is important that we give them the power to determine who and who becomes their chief executive and are able also to ensure that the people are able to deliver on, on that basis. The other thing that we need to uh, uh, talk about with re uh, regards to some of the issues which were raised about monies, 
the, our friend from uh, the Finder newspaper was talking about uh, monies, whether we are not going to introduce too much money in every electoral activity that we have. I think we should also accept the fact that you cannot have elections and say that we're not going to spend uh, monies. The monies are required. But at the end of the day, what, to what objective are we uh, pushing that agenda? We want to ensure that we get the assemblies or the people to determine who become their leaders. And I don't think it's asking for too much by saying that we, we, we should cut corners and even allow a seeming system that is being uh, uh, pushed to, to, to make as if it's something that we, 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 don't, we don't want to see. We have to make sure that we, 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 we tackle the bull by the horn. And we need to find the resources to be able to do this kind of business. This chair assemblies, originally, when they said, or oh, as we have now as a practice, we are saying that it's non-partisan. But I'm sure we all agree that even though it's, in theory it's non-partisan, there's a lot of money that is even going at that level. At that level. For those of us who are MPs, and now that people are saying that they want to brace their boost or lace their boost for the subsequent, the ultimate which will come, they, they will come to at you and ask you to provide them with resources to be able to go and prosecute those elections. So it is something that has been going on, and I don't think that we should play the, the ostrich. Let's work on it uh, and then get the president's uh, um, vision to be actualized. So I think that these are a few of the things that I want to add to the issues which have been raised. Thank you very much. Just clap for him.